And I took bits of film inside the church. <laughs> church? Abbey? Cathedral. Cathedral. I'm going to show you the stuff I shot inside the church. Church. Shot inside the abbey. Man. It's a cathedral. It's a cathedral. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of outtakes in there. Welcome to the Somerset town of Wells, where we are stood in front of the famous cathedral. Now, Wells is supposedly the smallest city in Britain, but I found out on the internet it's not. It's actually the city of London. It is the earliest English cathedral to be built in the Gothic style mm -hmm. and has an international reputation, apparently. Gothic. So we came here in January and I took bits and bobs of film, but never really compiled it into anything. So I'm going to show you the stuff I shot inside the abbey now. It's a cathedral. It's a cathedral. Anyway, here it is. The first church was established here in 705 AD. It was dedicated to St. Andrew. The only remains of this first church are some excavated foundations, which can be seen in the cloisters. Two centuries later, control was shifted from Wells from Sherborne. The first Bishop of Wells was Alvem, around 909, who crowned King Athelstan. Athelm and his nephew, St. Durston, both become Archbishops of Canterbury. It was around this time that Wells Cathedral School was founded. The present structure was begun under the direction of Bishop Reginald de Bohun, who died in 1184. Wells Cathedral dates mainly from the late 12th and early 13th centuries. The nave and transept are masterpieces of early English architecture. It was largely complete at the time of its dedication in 1239. Toes and fingers missing. Frostbite in the winter, perhaps? This is the chapter house, which was completed by 1306. It says the, the canons perdentaries met here daily to discuss business, but now meet here only on formal occasions. The room is used for exhibitions and concerts and so on. Can you hear me echoing? Amazing, Get acoustics. Hello. This is the market that they have every Saturday here. It's a nice little market at the moment because of the coronavirus, it's a bit quieter than normal, but we came here in January and it was much busier as these shots will show. This is Vickers Close, believed to be the only medieval street in the whole of Britain. This was designed and built to provide accommodation for the Vickers Coral. Coral? Coral. Coral. 
What's a choral? That's the ones you sing, isn't it? Right. So for the cathedral, which is obviously just behind us. And this was built a long time ago in the 14th century. Can we remember it far back now? It's amazing. Well, you might be able to remember that far back. This is the far end of the street, and it's actually three meters narrower at this end than the first end. The reason for that being, apparently, they wanted to, to appear much longer than it really was. It's quite a clever trick, isn't it? So does it look longer looking from this end or the other end? So that's the Vicar's Close there. So that's next this. is the Bishop's Palace. And that is on the other side of the cathedral. We'll make our way there now. Oh, door. <laughs> We're just going around the outskirts of the Bishop's Palace and then we come around to the front bit in a minute. But no swans so far. There's supposed to be some swans in there apparently that ring yeah. the bell for food. If it's me, I'll just say, here, give us a bit of bread, mate. Here at the Bishop's Palace, there's only one swan so far, but it says that the palace has been the home to the bishops of Bath and Wells for over 800 years. You must be getting on a bit now. The first bishop of Bath and Wells received the crown license to build a residence in Deer Park to the south of the cathedral. Within the fortified palace walls lie the ruin of the Great Hall, the bishop's private chapel, and 14 acres of garden in Court Coke, including an arboretum, community garden, and garden of reflection. This uniquely remote <laughs> palace has an imposing gatehouse with portcullis and drawbridge, which gives you the impression that you may be entering a castle structure. Mm. It does look a bit like a castle, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Don't feed us bread, what do you expect? Lasagna, chips and peas? You're a bird. Bread is all you're gonna get, mate. <laughs> 